back to one of the biggest stories of the week, and that is the Treasury Department hosting a summit tomorrow on how to fix the mortgage finance system. The two keys to any repair job, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, those government controlled companies that insure or guarantee 90% of home loans in this country. Well, joining us to gauge what we can actually expect out of this week's meeting is Chuck Gabriel. He's managing director of Capital Alpha Partners, longtime member of the Institutional Investors All American team for Washington Research. Uh, good morning to you, Chuck. It's uh, interesting to see this conversation happen in the midst of summer, obviously pre November elections. Can we expect anything to come out of this summit? Uh, not much, Margaret. Uh, for in large part, the administration is just trying to signal that it, you know having you know largely punted on the issue of uh, the future of mortgage finance. You know, through months and months of deliberations on uh, FinRAG or financial regulatory reform, right. that it's now freed up and is going to try to pursue that. But uh, I do think that there are the beginnings of some consensus that will be helpful going forward. But nevertheless, you have such a crisis in the sector that it's unlikely we'll have any action anytime soon. Uh, well, I ask you whether or not something will come of this because there is growing buzz, as you well know, in this part of the country, up here in Wall Street, about what may be happening in terms of the federal government making some changes on the refinancing front or helping uh, to stabilize the housing market in the near term. Uh, on that front, can we expect any intervention? The administration has really worked hard to try to downplay any expectations coming out of this meeting. And when you look at the panels it's put together, they, they are largely superficial with academics and, and mm -hmm. economists and some investors and some bank officials. Some pretty big names so there. Does, Lou Ranieri there. You've got Bill Gross there. You've got really uh, some very prominent figures in the bond world uh, there. A lot of very smart people. A lot of smart people. Uh, Lou Ranieri basically created the mortgage-backed security. You know, so is the world that we know. Do we read into that though to say this isn't just academics, these aren't just thought leaders, these are people who are active in the marketplace, they know uh, how the markets function. Can we expect perhaps this review of policy changes for Fannie and Freddie to have more of a corporate voice at the table? Yeah, it, it's somewhat mixed, although you've got to acknowledge that, you know, some of the the more aggressive critics of Fannie and Freddie and critics of the administration for having, you know, put off this debate about the Fannie's and Freddie's future, you know, really are not in the room. Mm -hmm. You know, for instance, they have Alex Pollack from the American Enterprise Institute instead of Peter Wallison. But it, but it is a, it is a smart group. Uh, that there's a good, you know, broad discussion set of discussion issues on the table. And again, there is some consensus growing about really paring back the role of Fannie and Freddie and perhaps replacing them with entities that just provide a, a federal guarantee for mortgage-backed securities, you know, not for the debt or portfolios of, of big GSEs like Fannie and Freddie. Much smaller role focused only on 30-year fixed rate mm -hmm. mortgages that are securitized. And, and, and that's positive. I think glacially we're, we're going to get there. But again, this financial crisis is going to preclude, and politics, frankly, it's going to preclude any kind of emergence of consensus anytime soon. All right. I may steal that glacially we will get there. <laughs> Interesting turn of phrase. Thank you uh, for your perspective. We'll see what we get out of tomorrow's meeting, if anything. Chuck Gabriel there joining us from Capital Alpha Partners.